Hi everybody, welcome to Creating with Love Crafting. How are you? It's me, Jill. We're gonna do a card video and let's just get started after you like subscribe and hit that bell for notifications okay so under here i have a beautiful stamp set from stamping up it is called holiday frame fun i'm going to use the frame and then i found a beautiful picture that i printed out on Pinterest yes I got my printer fixed and hopefully we'll use all these little these are brads all these little embellishments and I want to use this wishing you merry days a heart that's light family and friends and season bright so yes this might as well be considered a Christmas card I'm not ready to let go but so I got some scraps here and we're going to do a layering kind of thing. I have the envelope. We're just going to set that there. And the card. And I have some... Let's see, I was going to use the silver. I might still use it. And the picture I... The picture I um, printed out now it's not doing what it's supposed to do but this is a little snowman right here and two little people in the background here and they're walking through a snowy prairie or whatever it is and there's like a little stream i guess over here and then there's woods and a, and a house right here so we're going to use this gorgeous little nostalgic kind of like picture and we're going to frame it <sighs> okay so and everything remember these that i got these these um containers i'm using half of them um for holding my projects and half of them for my scraps okay so that's why i took that out of there okay so now we're going to fold the card in half which it's already done it's already scored so just fold it and score it like so So there you go. You have your card already done for you. I got this pack of cards, I guess, I think for $3.72 at Hobby Lobby um, on clearance. I was very happy to have gotten them because kind of changing up things. So, all right. Now, what I want to do is use my frame. Mm, can't think, huh? I have this by stamping up. See, my daughter went to a tag sale and she bought me a whole bunch of stuff from stamping up. It was a demonstrator that was selling her stuff. And this one is called Blue Bayou. This is a stamp pad. It is a very pretty color and we're just going to get going. So it's gorgeous and I hope you like everything we're doing here. First of all, I did know that this is the right size for this size card. Um, so we're just going to, I don't know whether to do it in the blue or the white, the off white, because we're in a craft card and I want to stick with a certain type of color. So I got to get rid of this so I can have room. All right. Now. I think we're going to do it with the off-white. Just make my mind up for myself. I have a problem with decisions. <laughs> I'm indecisive. 
So I'm gonna turn the stamp over and it was barely used. This was a very nice stamp set. And all you do is you take the stamp pad and you just run it along the stamp. I'm probably gonna have to rub it on. And it doesn't have to be perfect because the, the picture itself is very nostalgic. So why try to make it perfect? You know, it could be light in one area and dark in another. You know what I mean? So we're going to make a nostalgic card. All right. So we're going to turn this over. And I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go as far as I can in the corners. And just press. Just press. Press as evenly as you can around the whole stamp. I have a bunch of these stamps. Some are frames and some are background, which are extremely gorgeous. Oh! Oh, that is nice. Look at that. Looks nostalgic. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this way. And we're just going to cut out the whole image. And am I worried about Am I worried about right here? No. Watch what I do. So that is very pretty right there. I mean, it does look old and nostalgic, and that's what I wanted the card to look like anyway. Because the picture looks like that. So we're going to trim this up. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to get the middle out. as I can cut this okay so we're going to take our little blue cutting mat and we're just going to take our exacto knife and cut along the inner line from edge to edge corner to corner and we are going to do that See it cut right through all the way around the frame. So we're going to have a gorgeous frame and it will be fine. <laughs> okay. Now. Just cut. I do think that this is nice right here. See how it just pops out? No need for a cutting die, right? Now, I wanted to show you how to do things without a cutting die because we've all gotten into, let's use our cutting dies. Okay, so. Now what I want to do is maybe use a little bit of silver. No? No, it blends in too well. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of, could it be blue? Yes. Yes. All right. All right, so I do have a trimmer, but no dies. So we're going to cut this down to size. I do want to trim a bit off here and then up to here. I want to trim this edge here 
and then come down just a little bit and give it a trim I'm going to mark it here okay all right well, there's two pieces <laughs> all right so I'm going to cut at my line you're not able to see are you all right there you go <clears throat> and just a bit of the edge right here all right there you have it so we're going to have some edges here and some edges here but that's okay because it's it's a card so now we're going to take our picture and we're going to have to trim just a tiny bit now i want to keep the children in the frame all right see the children over here so I'm placing it a little beyond the frame and we're going to find the other edge of the frame and we're going to cut the picture right there and I'm just going to slice up All right, then we're going to frame it like so, okay? So all I'm going to do is put glue around the edges, and hopefully it will work. I used to hold parties when I was in my late 20s with Stamping Up and I had gotten so, I thought I had gotten so many sets of stamps, but when my daughter did what she did and brought over and I had counted at least 100 sets of stamps, I said, uh-oh, I have to start using my channel for some of that. And so I am. Um, so we're just going to place the frame on there. Like so, press down. And voila, you have a framed picture. Okay. That's all we're going to do for that. And then we're going to put our piece of paper here. And then, actually, that is not cut right. Okay, that's what I get for not having an example. This, um, I kind of mess up constantly. <laughs> but we're just going to try. Keep trying. See, now this looks crooked. All right, let's fix our little mistakes here. We're going to just slice off the, the slimmest amount, okay? And see if this one needs it too. Nope. All right. Yeah, I can see that it's off just the slightest and it bothers me. So we're just going to put the glue on it. Who doesn't like it when the card stands up like that at you? <laughs> All right. 
Now, there we go. Make sure it's even. And then we're going to place our... I get so distracted. We're going to place our little guy right here. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, now I hope this works. Okay, so I put my little doodads on the back, you know, the, the pop-up tape. Now I just wanna poke holes in the corners, like right here. And right here. And right here. And one more. All right. I have these tiny, tiny brads. I hope they fit. Can I open them? Yes, they open. All right. Now I'm going to just put them in like so see that cute little brads just for decorative purposes ah they don't want to go down for me all right got that one ooh These are hard to see. Put that one through the hole and open the tabs up. Ow. Real wide and press down. Press down and I'll do the other two off camera, okay? All right. There's always one that's off, but you know what? I'm just going to use it as it is. I'm going to turn it over. And it doesn't have to have a thing on the front at all. Turn it over and there's already um, mounting tape on here. All right. And we're just going to place it smack dab in the middle. And boom. Now, if I want to, we can put things down here. We could have put snowflakes, but then that would drown these out. See? All right. Now I'm going to... Do the inside. Uh, see if I got a good piece of paper that could just fit the inside like so. Yes, it could. I'm using my scraps. And all I got to do is make a mark right here. And now I've got to cut it right there. I have a mark there. Right there. Oh, the guy upstairs slamming. <laughs> and just slice it and dice it. Okay, that's... And maybe do I have enough to frame it? Yes, I do. I can frame this. So what I'm going to do is slice it here by... Just a tiny bit. Because it has that mark where you just pull it off of the pad. It has that little bit of rubber left. So. Now we're going to make sure it fits perfectly in the frame. Like so. 
and line it up and slice. Okay. And I'm going to put those together in two seconds. Okay, so now we're going to put this onto the darker piece. using our Barely Arts glue. I really like this glue. Um, I know a lot of you like the art glitter glue, but this for me was just a tiny bit cheaper. And when I order it, I kind of get it very quickly. So I don't know about the art glue. Um, you, you can't order this one in the winter either, I don't think. But I did one year and it didn't come to me frozen. So, I was fine with it. But this lasts me a good long time because you can order the refill, reuse your bottles and your tips. And this hardly does clog, but when it does, um, all you got to do is screw the cap off and peel the glue that has dried over the hole inside the cap. And that's what I do. It's fine. It's a really good glue. And no, I'm not being sponsored by them. Although... I don't know. I would like to work with them, but it's fine for now. Okay, so now I have the inside of my card all set up for the uh, sentiment to be put inside. And all we're going to do is stamp with that same color, Bayou Blue. To me, it is a pretty, um, just a pretty aqua color. And when you store these, some people say you can store, I do suggest storing your stamp sets upside down. But when these get put away, they are stored upside down because of the way they fold. So that's pretty good. All right, now we're just going to stamp, wishing you merry days, a heart that's light, family and friends, a season bright. And these, this Stampin' Up set that this came from, the Sentiments, was from 1999. I don't think it's available anymore, but there you go. There's the inside of your card. There's the outside. It is so darn pretty, that scene. I really love it. I want to enhance it. So let's enhance it just a little tiny bit. Using the, the glitter and the glue. So I have to get a piece of paper under here so that I could use my glitter. All right. So I'm just going to put random little pieces of you know, dots of glue everywhere because it is snowing in the scene okay and you're just going to get random little pieces of snow that glitter in your christmas you ever go outside and kind of see the way your snow comes down and sits like on your grass and stuff. Here I'm going to just go along. I think this is like a kind of like a pond or something here. I don't know. And here's the kids back here. And I'm just putting random glue everywhere. And we'll be sprinkling it. And here's some more real small. 
And here's some trees. We're just going to put some on the trees. And this glue will dry very, very clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good, right? All right, so we're going to use our iridescent glue. I got this. I don't know where I got it. Okay, I was going to say Walmart, but I don't remember. And just sprinkle it as we go. And then we're going to shake it off. And look how that just lightens it up. Isn't that beautiful? There we go. And when it dries, which will probably be in about 10 minutes, you just take a, um, you know, one of your paint brushes that you don't necessarily use for your paints and just brush it off. So, there you go. I'm so very happy I was able to do one more project with you. Can you focus? Can you please do... Oh, no, it's not going to focus. Okay. So that is our project. Let's get on with our prayer so we can get off. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As we go into the new year, as for me and my house, we will serve you. And we ask you, if anyone is not saved, to please listen to these prayers. Because if they want to be saved, they'll follow me in the prayer as I lead them to you. Dear Lord, please forgive me of my sins. And please... You know, just accept me like you said you would. I really am grateful that you died for me on the cross, the most horrendous death and torture ever written. And we thank you, Lord, for just having the grace and the mercy on us and, and just giving us eternity salvation a free gift as long as we accept you we ask you to come into our hearts and live there for the rest of our lives abide in us and help us to abide in you and help us to follow your every word in your every lesson for your life was perfect but you had every temptation and every hurt and every every abuse done to you. And if we look in the Bible, we see it. So Lord, thank you for coming and being a human being with us, humbling yourself, stepping off the throne. You didn't have to. And we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And amen, guys. All right. So, Hope you really liked this wonderful, beautiful card. I hope my son can zoom in because I cannot get a clear picture. And I hope that everyone has a happy new year. God bless each and every one of you and keep creating with love. Bye now.